Hey everyone, Robbie the Painter here. Today I'm Robbie the Handyman. I'm gonna show you guys how to do some flagstone. Uh, we're in my front yard right here, up in the mountains, beautiful day. Had, had some wind the last couple of days, so I had to stop where I was at, kind of put everything away. It, uh, really strong winds, but I'm back out, out here today to show you guys how to do a simple flagstone pathway. Um, I'm not laying gravel down, I'm not laying any base down, I'm going straight onto the ground, and I'm using some repurposed asphalt. They, they tore up the uh, airport up here, the uh, asphalt at the airport a few years ago, and there's still some pieces. They were trucking it down the hill, down the mountain. One of my neighbors stopped them and said, where are you going with that stuff? Dump it on our dirt road. So. Our road here used to be all dirt, and now it's got a, a base of uh, crushed asphalt. Okay, so here's what we're gonna be using. Got our mixing bucket, just a cheap little uh, mixing bucket. Got a half a bag of Type M mortar in here. That makes it manageable when we're adding our water. Full bag is, all, is too much to put in this uh, little mixing bucket and that. Um, we're gonna be mixing it up with this hula hoe. It's just an old hula hoe I've had for years. You can use a solid hoe, uh, you could use a shovel. I find that the hula hoe lets the mortar and the mix go through it and, and it's, uh, it's really good for mixing. We've got a little trowel here. We'll be using this to scoop the mortar out and put in between the flagstone. We've got our water source and I think that's about all we're gonna need. Um, I've got a little level here and it doesn't, this doesn't need to be perfect. We don't need everything to be level. We're just gonna use this to get in the ballpark. Um, I actually want this walkway to kind of drain one way or another. And I'm actually at kind of the high point of this whole pathway. Uh, it goes, it slopes down um, behind the camera here and it's probably gonna come up here little higher and then then flatten out but uh we'll just keep a level it doesn't have to be perfect this is not rocket science um again i'm not a landscape architect i'm just a painter guy just a handyman who sees stuff in a blank yard and and i say what do i want to put there so we're also going to be using this mortar this type m mortar when I get to the waterfall project with the stream and the pond, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be building a big boulder, probably seven or eight feet tall using uh, wood frame, chicken wire, and then this mortar here, this Type M, uh, over the top of that. So that'll be another video. Let's get started on this. We're gonna mix up some mortar, and I'm gonna start laying it in between this, uh, these asphalt uh, flagstone pieces. Good, good, good. And you want to add a little water at a time. Mix it up. You can always add more water. It's really hard to take it back out. Okay, we're going to slide this over here by where we're going to be working. And again, before I move that over. These asphalt pieces are roughly puzzle pieced in place where I think they're gonna be. I, I'm pretty sure this is where they're gonna stay. And right now they're not level, they're up and down. What we wanna make sure is we don't have these pieces too low or too high. We don't want a toe stubber. It doesn't have to be perfectly level, but we don't want it to, to have dramatic and drastic changes. So. Look at the consistency on this, if you guys can see. And we stick our trowel in there. It does not run off the sides. It holds it. So that's a, that's a really good consistency. At least I think so. So something cool just happened while I was talking to you guys and mixing this up. My neighbor pulled up in his truck and brought me more of these flagstone, these asphalt flagstone pieces. So that was really cool, really nice of him to do that. And I'll flip this camera around, show you 
they're laid out on the driveway there. That'll get me farther down my path as we're going that way. And, uh, and that, so big shout out to John and DJ, his wife for making that happen. Well, John went and picked him up, but <laughs> super cool neighbors, love my neighbors. Anyway, so this has been setting for a few minutes and it's already starting to, this mortar starting to harden up. And uh, so what we're gonna do is grab our hose, just hit it with a little water, kind of reactivate it a little bit so it does. There we go. Take the trowel. And I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. And while we've got our water, it's usually a good idea, helps the bonding process. If we take the water and we just missed, missed our area that we're gonna be putting our mortar in. Helps that mortar bond to these pieces. Doesn't have to be soaking wet. Just wanna, uh, you know, light mist here. Okay, let's come over here. Let's get a little bit on our trowel. Let's see. Let's start putting it. Is that in the frame? Can you guys see? All right. I'll zoom in, make it easier to see. Usually pretty quiet up here on our mountain, but there's, there's a lot of traffic. There's a main road right up over here and uh, it is a Friday, so a little more activity. It really gets busy up here during snow season. We've got two ski resorts up here in the mountains and very popular place. They used to, I don't know if they still do, uh, but they would have snowboard championships up here. One of our ski runs is, is more set up for snowboarders and the other one's kind of a traditional uh, ski mountain, ski slopes. So we just keep troweling this in. Let me go zoom in, get a little closer, kind of in the shade under here. It's easier to see over here in the sunlight. So for video purposes, I can see under here, but it's, it's really hard to see for you guys. So let's come over here to this side. Just gonna take a little trowel and then turn your trowel sideways and just kind of make sure it gets down there in the cracks. Grab some more, throw it in there. Now this piece looks like it, it needs to come up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we pick it up Throw a little mortar down, set that puzzle piece right back in and kind of give it a little wiggle. Let's see, right about there. Didn't need to raise it much, but. And when we get this filled in with the mortar, we can kind of see how they line up. See that? I could put the level on that and see if those two pieces are level, but I, again, I only use the level every now and then just to, if something's not looking right to my eye, I'll grab that level. But this is just kind of a, a rough DIY project, this thing's gonna last enough years, probably long after I'm gone. That's all I need. All right, that's a little higher than that one. Unless I can, yeah, I think I need to lift that one. Okay, let's throw a little, I just kind of broke it loose. 
And let's throw that in right there. And if you need, sometimes you want your mortar, sometimes you want your mortar just a little wetter to kind of, uh, if you've got a small crack and you really need it to be a little thinner, your mortar a little thinner so it gets down in that crack, just add a little water in a corner of your bucket. And we just pour that and turn your trowel sideways and get that mortar down in there. And then, yeah, put it back in place. I'm liking that. Okay, back over here. Just keep going. You don't have to get these joints perfect as you're going. You can, you can get the bulk of your mortar in, you want you don't want this bucket drying out. I mean, it's gonna last for a little bit before it completely hardens up, but it's good to uh, get the amount of mortar you need in these joints, and then you can come back and really smooth it out good. Or you can do it as you go. throw a little mortar underneath this rock to kind of set it here on the edge. So as we lay this mortar in these joints, make sure we get enough in there to work with. We're just going to take our trowel and kind of tilt it up on one side and push it across. Add a little more in there. All right, so this one needs to come way up. We're gonna throw some mortar underneath it. Some of these uh, asphalt pieces are different thicknesses. They're not all the same. So sometimes you're gonna need to throw a little mortar underneath it to bring it up to the same height as the surrounding pieces. And again, we're just puzzle piecing this together. You figure it out as you go. It's a nice day, beautiful day. And you'll notice both sides of my flagstone, I have these rocks, mediums, you know, small to medium sized rocks, just as a border. Got some irises planted over here, Oh, I just knocked that off. Got some purple irises planted here in the planter. And uh, it just, it makes a nice border having these rocks. I'll throw some under here, a little bit of mortar. Sometimes you don't need to do this and sometimes you do. You go through more mortar if you're putting it under every stone. We're not gonna put mortar under every stone. We're just doing it on the ones we need to, to bring up to, you know, where this is straight across like that. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. I'm afraid to look at level here. A little high there. That's level right there. Bubbles about in the middle right there. Ooh. I don't I don't know if you guys can see this. That bubble's dead center. So from here to here, it's level, and all we did was eyeball it. We're just eyeballing it. Again, this is just kind of a rough flagstone pathway. But it's gonna look good. Forgot to mention them, got these knee pads on. I was out here a few days ago 
and kneeling down on this asphalt and doing this and and I was like, man, my knees are hurting because I'm a dummy sometimes. Put your knee pads on if you got them. Buy, buy some knee pads. All right, here's a little tiny piece. We just kind of putting in the middle here. And we'll smoosh it down or raise it up as we need to. Smush it down just a little. All right. Again, using the side of the trowel, kind of get it in place, get it down in the cracks. We can move it around with the tip of this trowel. And then use the side of the trowel. And then over here by the rocks, what I've done is give the water a place to drain right down. So some of these are these rocks are a little too close to get your trowel in there to kind of make a V so the water drains. So I just grab my fingers. You might want to put gloves on. And I just use my finger and kind of smooth it out there in between the rocks. Need a little more right here. That. that you don't want to get your your bare hands in this mortar a whole lot uh, it will dry them out you will have dry dry hands not good to be for your skin to be exposed to it besides the fact that it dries them out so Gloves are, are a good option. Um, you know, I just put my finger in it now, but I'm trying to keep trying to keep my hands out of a lot of direct contact with the mortar. I'm almost ready to mix up that other half a bag that I've got sitting over there. up some more. You know what? I think we're gonna stop right there on this video. I think we're gonna call it right here. This is where I'm gonna stop right here. And uh, I don't want the video to be too long. I plan on going farther that way. And I've got another project I'm gonna start, so I'll, I'll film that and, and uh, stay tuned for that. Waterfall, pond, stream, and the flagstone's gonna uh, integrate into that project too. It's gonna be part of that project. So for right now, we're gonna stop this flagstone project. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, I used repurposed asphalt. You can use concrete forms like these. You can find these on at your uh, uh, home improvement store, online, on Amazon. If you don't have 
um, bricks or asphalt. You can use a lot of different materials and you put your mortar in between that and you make your own pathway. Um, they're fun. Let me show you that I got a little surprise and uh, wanted to show you guys the little surprise. I got a concrete colored stain. It uses muriatic acid and color and it is turquoise and I think it turned out very cool very cool so there you go hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more uh, videos besides my and check out my painting videos too you know I am Robbie the painter uh, I just haven't had time because of these outdoor projects to do uh, anything for the painting channel plan on getting back to that don't worry about that but go over and check out some of those painting episodes and look back here for some of these fun landscape projects that you can do uh, around your place until next time i'll see you bye bye oh did i hit record i didn't mean to hit record yet.